How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over how to calculate molarity and because we're starting off on solutions I think the best starting point would probably be to go over what a solution is. So a solution is just a homogeneous mixture of a solute distributed through a solvent. So essentially a solute is the substance that's being dissolved and the solvent is what is doing the dissolving. So it tends to be that the universal solvent as they say is water. Whenever you have a situation where you're adding some kind of powder or like a solid to a water and dissolving it, water is going to be the solvent there and the solute is going to be whatever else is there. Now for actually calculating molarity, um, right here we have the definition of molarity, which is uh, really just moles of solute per liter of solution. And that's pretty, the, I think the most significant part there, it, it, it's almost like a way of defining concentration, uh, but it's specific to moles of solute per liter. So if you have like ml, you're always going to want to convert it before you try to calculate the molarity. Um, so from here, I just have a few problems that we're just going to jump into. And um, yeah. All right. So for first off, we have probably one of the most common types of problems that is just what is the molarity of a solution of, we'll say, 50 grams of NaCl dissolved in 0 0.46 liters of water. All right, so first off, you can tell that in this situation, the NaCl is obviously going to be the solute and the solvent is going to be the water. Um, so here we have the, the first step would probably be, I usually just like to draw out, you know, if time's not an issue, draw out the formula. Um, okay. So here we have uh, the molar mass. So basically first things first, we're going to basically try to solve for N. So how do we solve for N? We take what we have and then we move with it. So 50, we have 50 grams of NaCl and we need to get that into moles. So I have the molar mass here calculated for NaCl. That's going to be 58.44. So make sure that's on the bottom. Grams NaCl per one mole of NaCl. So now we can just do that out and solve for, so we're going to have our 50 divided by 58.44. All right, cool. So we're going to get 0 0.855 and we can round that up to 0 0.86 moles of NaCl. So now that we have our N, our N, our moles of solute, we can just kind of plug it in using the liters, which 0 0.46 is already in liters, so we don't have to change anything. So straightforward, the molarity is going to equal 0 0.86 moles of solute divided by 0 0.46 liters of water. So we're just going to do that out, 0.86 divided by 0.46. You know, 1.869, so nine six, and we can just round that to 1.87m. So now we just solved for the molarity of what this solution would result in. So now we can just keep going. I'll move this down. Okay, so question two is going to be, what is the molarity of a solution of 85 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 156 grams, I'm sorry, 156 ml of water. Okay, so first things first, let's see what we got. They're asking for sodium hydroxide. All 
So sodium, we know, is going to be Na+. Plus. And what's hydroxide? Hydroxide is going to be an OH-. minus. Since this is a positive, this is a negative, we know that there's not going to be there's not going to be multiple of each one. It's just one to one ratio to balance those charges. So it looks like this is that. Now from there, we need the molar mass. Again, that, that's something I pre-calculated. We have 40 grams per mole. All right, so now we're going to go forward with that. Um, so we have the 40 grams per mole and we have 85 grams. So. 85 grams of NaOH and we need moles if we're going to use that formula. So the molar mass we have on the bottom 40 grams NaOH per one mole NaOH. So we're just dividing 85 by 40 and we're going to get 2.125. And we can round that if you want to 2.13 moles of NaOH. Now that you have moles, you can just plug it right into the formula. However, in this case, we have uh, 156 ml. So really quick, 156 ml is just going to be, um, we just move it over three, so it's going to be 0 0.156 liters. Now we can plug it into the formula. Um, we can have m equals the moles of solute which we just calculated to be 2.13 moles of NaOH divided by 0 0.156 liters of water. So we're just going to divide that 2.13 divided by 0.156 is equal to around to 13.65 m. All right, so that's going to be the molarity of that. Now I'll move this down. We'll do one more. All right, so for number three, we'll say a solution is made from 880 grams of table sugar. Um, which is going to be sucrose in four liters of water. What is the resulting solutions molarity? So this could be like a soda or something maybe. Um, so first off, we have sucrose, which is going to be C12H22O11. I pre-calculated the molar mass, but sometimes you'll get those larger molecules, whether, you know, maybe your professor is just trying to, you know, um, incorporate some like real molecules in, in, you know, in biology, or they're just, maybe it's going to slow you down to have to calculate that. It's just like one more kind of test of your ability to, you know, to quickly answer these questions, you know. That's going to be our molar mass of sucrose. So now we can kind of go across like we usually do. We're going to start with what we have, the 80 grams sucrose. And we'll figure out that's based on 343.3 grams sucrose per one mole of sucrose. Now we'll just go across, take 880 and divide it by 343.3. .3. It's going to be 2.56. We'll round to uh, 2.57 because it looks like we have, yeah. okay, and then we have moles sucrose. All right, cool. So then from there, We'll plug in our moles to the um, formula for molarity. And so the molarity is going to equal the moles, which we just calculated as to be 2.57 moles sucrose, divided by our liters, which what do we have here? We have four liters. 
and that's just going to be 2.97 divided by 4. We get 0 0.643 molar. So our, that's our molarity for the resulting solution there. So yeah, this is just kind of a quick overview, but um, I'll just put these up at the top again. These are kind of some good things to know. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this helps someone.